ilioinguinal approach. It may be worthwhile to mention that I will ask the help of a general surgeon while isolating the femoral vessels and nerves and spermatic cord. This approach is used to expose inner aspect of indominated bone from the sacroiliac joint to the pubic symphysis, allowing access to the anterior wall, anterior column, and quadrilateral space. Indications Anterior wall and column fractures, transverse and T-type fractures with anterior displacement, selected both column fractures, and an anterior column with posterior hemitransverse fractures. The patient is placed a supine with arm abducted under a radiolucent table. Landmark two point anterior superior iliac spine iliotibial band uh, ilioinguinal ligament pubic tubercle incision a line starts over the anterior iliac crust five centimeter above the anterior superior spine to around one centimeter above the pubic tubercle superficial dissection the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh lie in the lateral aspect of the incision and often will need to be sacrificed. The accession is carried out through the epineurus of external oblique and rectus sheath medially. The supramental cord in men and round ligament in women are present in the superficial inguinal ring and need to be isolated in a sling. Iliacus is elevated of the inner wing of the ilium. Deep dissection the rectus abdominis is divided medially, just above the pubic symphysis, to develop a space between it and the bladder. This part of the approach can be used to fix pubic symphysis diastasis. Divide the internal oblique and transverse abdominis that forms the posterior wall of inguinal canal. Be careful to, of the inferior epigastric vessels, which lie medial to the deep inguinal ring at this stage. This should expose the peritoneum. Push it up and by a swab to expose the femoral vessels. One sling is passed around the femoral vessels and one around the iliosuas tendon with the femoral nerve. The key is to create three windows through which bony surgery can be performed. Medial window lies medial to the femoral vessels and give access to pubic symphysis. Middle window lies lateral to femoral vessels, vessels and medial to iliosuas give access to pelvic brim and quadrilateral space. Lateral window lies lateral to iliosuas gives access to inner surface of the ilium. This can also be extended proximally to expose the sacroiliac joint. By extending the incision posteriorly by stripping the iliacus of the ilium, the sacroiliac joint can be exposed. This approach cannot be extended distally. Structure at risk Femoral nerve and vessels, lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, inferior epigastric vessels, spermatic cord or the round ligament, obturator artery and nerve, which is at least risk with the medial window, urinary bladder and sacral nerve roots while exposing sacroiliac joint.